What's up guys? Uh, this Tip Tuesday is talking about scaling, and not just scaling, but modifying and, and getting the best workout for you. We can use an actual formula, a mathematical formula of work and power to calculate if we are getting the most out of our workout. See, the goal of every workout is to be as tense as you can be. Intensity is relative, meaning that if you're a Corvette or a Honda Civic, we can redline both of those, but the intensity isn't changing, we're just maybe moving at different speeds. So it's important that you find the intensity that works best for you. What we wanna do here is that we wanna find the best workout or the modification of the workout that we're giving you each day. We can do that by modifying movements, by modifying reps, by modifying the volume or the loading or whatever it is that we need to do. That's what makes us so special and that's what makes us different than any other place is that every single class that you come to, we can make the workout fit for what you're capable of doing. That way, every day that you come, you're getting the most out of the hour that you're spending with us. We can do that using math. Right? When we're trying to find work, it's force times distance, right? Or the loading that you're using, whether it be like a kettlebell or a barbell or your body weight times the distance that it's moving. Usually that's like up and down versus gravity and that gets work, right? So we wanna calculate how much work are we doing? If I moved a thousand pounds, a hundred yards, right? That work is gonna be less than somebody who moves 2,000 pounds, a hundred yards, right? So we wanna be able to calculate work, but that doesn't always play into the factor of fitness, right? Where fitness comes in is the intensity, right? And intensity is kind of like the golden path to get to where we want to be. If we can apply intensity to our workouts, we will look better naked. We will feel better whenever we're running around or sleep better. Uh, our body will look better. Not only will we look more toned, we'll burn more fat, and we'll be able to do things better, whether it be running or swimming or playing with our kids or our grandkids. We're going to be able to do things better by applying intensity. Intensity is also calculated in a formula, and that formula is called power, right? And power is work divided by time. So, for example, if I did that 1,000 pounds, I moved 1,000 pounds for 100 yards, if it took me significantly less time than the person who moved 2,000 pounds 100 yards, I had more intensity, which means my workout was better. So it's important that when we come in, we have that mindset of, I don't necessarily need to be doing the heavier weights, even though all my peers are. Right? If coach says, hey, Rich, I think that you should be doing this weight, we maybe should take that into consideration that they're the subject matter expert and that they know what's best for me. I wanna get the most out of my workout. I wanna have the intensity or the power calculation that works best for me. If over time I'm constantly getting the most power output every single workout, my body's gonna show it. Whether it looks better, because it will, or whether it feels better, both are positives and both will happen if we do the workouts as they're supposed to be. So. Listen to your coaches, let that power be what drives your workouts and what fuels your success. I'll see you in the gym.